Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, scalene triangle uh, ABE fully inscribed uh, in a rectangle uh, ABCD as you can see in this given uh, diagram such that the side lengths uh, of this uh, triangle uh, ABE are 13, 14 and 15 units uh, respectively. And this segment uh, EC is being represented by X units. And moreover, this side length uh, of this uh, triangle ABE is equal to the side length of this uh, rectangle ABCD. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, length X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle ABE. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle ABE. And we are going to use the Heron's uh, formula to calculate the area of this given uh, triangle. And here's the formula. Area of the triangle is equal to the square root of uh, s times s minus a times s minus b times uh, s minus c where s uh, is equal to the sum of these side lengths uh, a plus b plus c divided by 2 and uh, this uh, s is called the semi perimeter and now i'm going to label uh, these side lengths i'm going to call this uh, side length as lowercase a lowercase b and uh, lowercase uh, c then our lowercase a value is 13, lowercase b value is 14, and lowercase c value is 15. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula. Our a value is uh, 13, b value is 14, and c value is uh, 15. I'm going to substitute it over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have substituted uh, these a, b, and c values. So let's simplify. So S is going to be equal to 42 divided by 2. So therefore, our lowercase s value turns out to be 21 uh, units. And in this uh, next step, now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABE by using the Heron's formula. And here our s value is uh, 21. So let's go ahead and substitute uh, these values in this uh, formula. Our S value is 21. Over here, this is going to be 21 minus A is 13. And here, 21 minus 14. And finally, 21 minus 15 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, and now we can see 21 minus 13 is 8. 21 minus 14 is 7. And 21 minus uh, 15 is 6. So therefore, uh, I can write uh, this one the square root of uh, 21 times uh, this is 8 times uh, 7 times uh, 6. And if we multiply all these uh, radicants, uh, that is uh, going to give us the square root of uh, 7056. Square root of this one is going to be equal to 84 square units. So thus the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABE turns out to be 84 square units. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number one. And here's our next step. I have dropped this perpendicular EF on this uh, side uh, AB as you can see. And now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle uh, ABE. And let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times the height. And in our case, uh, the base of this uh, triangle uh, ABE is uh, 15 units. And this uh, EF uh, is the height uh, of this uh, triangle. And moreover, the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABE we already figured out as uh, 84 square units. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got 84 equals to 1 divided by 2 times 15 times our height is EF. 
and on the right hand side we can write this one as 15 divided by 2 times 8f now we are going to remove this fraction by multiplying by its reciprocal 2 divided by 15 on the right hand side and on the left hand side uh, as well and here we can see this 2 and 2 is gone 15 and 15 is gone so therefore our this uh, ef uh, height uh, turns out to be equal to 168 uh, divided by 15 and now this fraction could be reduced uh, to 56 uh, divided by 5 so thus our this uh, height ef turns out to be 56 uh, divided by 5 and since uh, ef represents the height of this uh, triangle so therefore uh, this uh, height ef length turns out to be 56 divided by 5 and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, this side length uh, bc is equal to this uh, perpendicular ef if this uh, perpendicular length is 56 divided by 5 then this BC length is going to be 56 uh, divided by 5 uh, units uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EBC. And we know this uh, angle is going to be 90 degree angle since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle ABCD. And now we are going to find the value of uh, X. So therefore we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle uh, EBC. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 14. And our two other legs are uh, x uh, and 56 uh, divided by 5. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x uh, square plus uh, 56 uh, divided by 5 whole uh, square equals to... 14 square let's simplify that is going to give us uh, x square plus uh, that is going to give us uh, 31 36 uh, divided by 25 equals to 196 on the right hand side and now we are going to move this uh, fraction on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step i have moved uh, this fraction on the other side and in this uh, next step, I have uh, replaced this uh, 196 uh, by 4900 divided by 25 to make sure we have the same uh, denominators. So therefore, we are going to have x square equal to 4900 minus uh, 3136 uh, all over 25. So therefore, our x square value is going to be equal to 1764 divided by 25. And now I am going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, we are going to have uh, x uh, equals uh, to this one over here, 42 divided by 5 units so thus our length uh, x value turns out to be 42 divided by 5 units and in terms of decimals this x value is going to be equal to 8.4 units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye